High school is usually a place for young minds to find themselves, and eventually, they graduate and go off to college, join the military, or even pick up a trade. But for one reason or another, unfortunately, not everyone gets to graduate from high school. But that's where Free State Challenge Academy comes into play. It's a quasi-military uh, environment that allows them to really adapt, have the time and the discipline and the structure to be able to uh, continue on with their studies so that they can get ahead, they can get focused, and even individual uh, educational uh, goals can be reached. Achieving those educational and professional goals became more of a reality for the Class 61 cadets, many of whom walked away from the graduation ceremony with GED diplomas, college scholarships, and potential job placements. I'm actually going to join the Army. I'm going to be in school for social work. Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of public speaking, maybe help kids and pursuing their dreams because it was really hard for me to pursue my own dreams because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was very much a follower and to be exact, Free State taught me how to be a leader. Being a leader can be a difficult task, but when you have a strong support system, getting through the tough times becomes a lot easier. I love them all. They always guided me the right way, even if it was right or wrong. They always told me what's right from wrong, everything. Nope. They always kept my head up. Being told right from wrong by the cadre is something the cadets experienced a lot of while in the 22-week residential program. You know, because you spend so much time, you spend five months with them, day in and day out. Um, you see uh, their heartbreaks, you see their, their laughing, you see them sad, you see them angry, you see every different side of them, right? Uh, but you're there. You're there to pick them up. You're there to push them to that finish line. Um, so it almost feels like they're my kids, <laughs> you know, walking across that stage. And I'm genuinely proud for them and of them. And you can bet your bottom dollar that the Maryland National Guard is proud of these cadets too. Reporting for the Maryland National Guard, I'm Staff Sergeant Chas Kibler.